Hey everybody, Arn here. I want to show you a program that I use to stay organized called Divi, and that allows me to uh, place objects, uh, windows, tabs, things like that, programs, uh, cleanly so that I get the most space uh, out of them and not having a bunch of loose windows everywhere. So here we go. All right, so I get uh, questions pretty often about how did I set up this um, multi chessboard scene that we use in our commercials, commercial breaks on our chess.com broadcasts. And um, obviously you can see that I found a very organized way to lay everything out in the computer that I use to capture um, all of this stuff. If you uh, want to learn more about uh, NDI, which is uh, how I connect one computer to the other to be able to capture this, uh, you can check out the link in the description below to watch my video about how to use NDI. So the program itself you can get from this website, which will also be linked in the description below, and you can download the trial. Once you have the program, um, it will, and it's running, it'll be in your system tray is this little uh, double arrow kind of deal. All right, so let's show you one potential use for this. Obviously, you can do all kinds of stuff, but I'm just going to make up some uh, case scenario. So let's say I want to have the chat on the right for this Twitch stream I'm watching, uh, but then I want to also be able to navigate around on Twitch and not lose sight of the conversation that's happening. So on Twitch, you can pop out chat, and so I'm going to do that. I'm going to pop out the chat room as its own window. And then something that some people will do, you know, is like you'll try to place this and scale it and, you know, make it the size that you want. But then but then it's like this loose hanging window, right? And if I click uh, somewhere on Twitch, well, now that window's not in the foreground anymore, so it's gone. And I want it to stay there. So uh, let's get it back into the foreground. And I'm going to get into Divi here. And you're going to see it gives you all these little containers. Uh, and so I've got five containers across and two containers up and down. If I want to change that and have more containers, less containers, you can click Settings and then Appearance. And you can decide how many rows you want or how many columns you want. Uh, and then once you've got that right, you can go back. So I'm going to just set it to be in this uh, set of containment. So I'm going to click and drag, and now it's there. It's snapped into the right scaling for that. And then I'm going to click Twitch, and I'm going to scale that to the other remaining space. And so now I've got these two windows that are totally separated, and I can click into one or the other, and I'm not losing either one in the foreground or background or anything like that. It's, it's really cleanly um, set up. So that way I can, um, I can extend the player here, get rid of that other chat window that's no longer being useful. Um, and you know, you can even uh, go to a different stream now. And so now I'm checking in on a different stream. I want to see how Overwatch League is going. Uh, but I don't want to leave the, um, the conversation from Tifa's channel. So it's still here. And this chat is still running, which is great. Uh, I'm not losing sight of anything that's going on, but I can poke around. You know, you could even go to completely different websites and, and navigate and do things, and the chat is still there for you. Um, and so there you go. That's one scenario where Divi is really, really useful. Um, and obviously, you can scale any of this stuff um, any way you want. I can grab it and say I just want it up here in this little top area, um, you know, and maybe this one, I kind of want it like that size. And... Now I've got all kinds of stuff at my fingertips, uh, you know, to navigate into different things and, and, and not lose uh, my ability to view and interact with um, other browsers, uh, browser windows. So there you go. That's a quick rundown of some of the stuff that Divi can do. And um, I hope this was useful. Don't forget the links in the description to both uh, Divi and my NDI um, tutorial. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments section. Consider subscribing to the channel because I do all kinds of tutorials for streamers and, and uh, stuff like that. So it um, should be very useful, and you'll get a notification when the next one's up. All right, have a good one.